headed out for my airport camp tonight. So I wanted to just show you a little bit of the journey. Hopefully this works. It looks a little overcast, bright sunshine though. It's uh, 6 p.m. I've got an hour and about an hour and 15 minutes to get to the airport. And that's how long it's going to take me to get to the airport. see if I can find a place to camp. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel and you're watching Hammock Mountain. Tonight we are at an airport for the uh, airport challenge for the, for the month of September with the Stealth Camping Alliance. So tonight, I am still camping in an airport. I am parked right there, and I may just truck camp. All right, I don't want to go in through there. I'm gonna go in these main doors over here. Of course, I looked all in there. There's no coverage anywhere around here. They've got rocks in there. That would be a good spot, but it's it's out in the open. People walk by. I could just sit there and lean my head back and sleep. And just tell them I'm resting. There's a better one. There's shade. The light's not shining straight on it. So. We're gonna go inside, and I've got a place in here I want to show you, so I'll be quiet and walk in. Hey, 
And because of where I'm at, uh, I decided not to cook tonight. So I stopped by Buddy's Barbecue. Here we are inside. And the gates are closed. Well, apparently they're closed. I'm going to see if I can catch some plane. No smoke. All right. I'm sure there's cameras all on me, so I can't do what I want to do. I wanted to cowboy camp right in that corner or right against that. Uh, it's a lot darker out here than what it looks on what it looks like on camera, but I don't think I can get away with cowboy camping. They might not like that. So we have one right here. Let's see what that is. Hey guys, we have an airplane. I am in an airport. This is the Stealth Camping Alliance Airport Challenge. And there's an airplane. And there's another. That one's bigger. We'll follow it. Whoa. Sorry about that, guys. It's not a big airport, but on race weekend, uh, it's pretty busy. I came late though, and so, well, they're having one race tonight, and so all the driver's planes are already in, their helicopters and planes. But the big race is tomorrow night. Like I was saying, uh, all the drivers, Already, already in, so all their planes are way back over there behind me, planes and helicopters and all. So they're in, but you still got people coming in that are not going to the race tonight, but they're going to the uh, big race tomorrow night. And so there'll be a lot more people flying in here. I'm hoping we catch quite a few tonight. But if not, we should have uh, a few more flights coming in and out anyway. So we'll catch what we can. And then after that, we're going to go, or I keep saying we're. It's, there's nobody with me. It's just me. But after that, I'm going to go out, and I think I am going to stealth camp in the parking lot. I think I can get away with it without getting in trouble. Since we are here uh, doing the airport challenge, I wanted to say thanks to Paul from Cushion Bush Channel for giving us this challenge to do an airport stealth camp. And uh, his, his rules, if I remember them right, was camp at or near an airport uh, I'm guessing get video of planes if possible and his one stipulation that was hilarious was you have to bring 
some kind of a airplane or airport related toy. I'm guessing like a toy plane or something. And uh, I don't know if that was a gig at uh, Steve the Transit Camper for faking the last, no, I'm sorry, Steve didn't fake anything. Um, but anyway, whatever happened on the last airport challenge, if you want to know, go watch Steve the Transit Champ, Steve the Transit Campers channel and watch his airport challenge from September of 2022. Uh, that may be where the toy planes came into play. The only person that can tell us that is Paul. So thank you, Paul, from Cushion the Bush. And if that led to this, thank you, Steve, Transit Camper. But uh, in going with the theme, I wanted to show you the airplane toy that I brought. It's that one. It's all different colors. But this is a cool plane. I hear, yep, we got an airplane taking off. Now that that's done, uh, I, we got security coming out here. Don't tell me I'm gonna get ran off here too. But anyway, I brought this plane because of what it is. Yeah, it's just a little toy wooden biplane that is painted all different weird colors. You can see, but my daughter who is now in her third year of space flight operations painted this when she was three so that's what i decided to bring and so we got a biplane this is for you steve my plane is taking off and it's gone i can't do it like like steve steve's too good but that's, that's the airplane-related toy that I brought. And uh, that's the reason I brought it. It's kind of special. And I guess at three years old, she had space and airspace in her head. She still does, so we're going to see where she takes it. But that's the toy I brought. And uh, that's it. She painted it when she was three. That's pretty cool. Like it. Okay. Am I okay out here? Yeah, you're okay out here. All right. Thank you. All right. Security said I'm good. I still don't think I can get get away with cowboy camping here. So there he is. Yep, there he is. He's locking locking doors, but he left one open for me. I guess if he locks me all the way out, I could cowboy camp out here, though. And so, hey, guess what? I couldn't get back in. All right. Uh, sandwich from Buddy's Barbecue. It's a brisket sandwich. So we'll take a look at it. It's messy. beef brisket, a bunch of barbecue sauce. And for some reason, they gave me extra barbecue sauce. I don't think I need it. Actually, I need a napkin. Smells good. It looks good. 
we'll take one bite and then I'm gonna cut this off so you all don't have to watch me eat. And I'm gonna enjoy my enjoy my barbecue beef brisket sandwich. That's pretty good. A little bit spicy. It's a good thing I like spicy. see that's uh most of those are race team jets not sure if this one is or not but more than likely it has something to do with the bristol race going on right now this weekend but uh normally this airport is quiet at night but we've got We've got the high dollar jets flying in and out tonight. Random story time. I also drove the M&M's car on uh, Disney World Speedway, Walt Disney World Speedway in Orlando. That was the racing experience that they had. The, I think it was the Petty Racing Experience. And so I drove the M&M's car around it. Done three laps. That was fun. And uh, then... Quite a few years before that, I think I was 16, maybe. Yeah, I think I was 16. And my brother had a 79 Monte Carlo. And we were in Alabama, passing Talladega. And the gate was open. We drove in straight, straight onto the track. So I got dared to do it. So we done two laps, I believe, on Talladega. And had to leave pretty quick. So I was 
it's a wonder I didn't get locked up right that one. But yeah, that was fun. Yeah. But yeah, that that was that was kind of sketchy. That that was pretty uh, probably the most high risk thing I've done is driving a seventy nine Monte Carlo on Talladega Talladega Speedway. I'm gonna see if I can get him. To, I'm gonna see if I can get him to dance and bring that. I'll see. Hold on, I'm gonna cut this off. I'm gonna go talk to him. See if he'll do a boom dance. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, I have planes leaving but i've got a friend here he's a new subscriber to the hammock mountain channel uh he's got his own channel uh he does music and stuff i'll let you let him tell you about it and uh what was your what was your name uh fox the passion fox the passion so he's gonna do the boon dance for you so if you'll hold on let me turn this camera around and we're gonna go for it do the boon dance <laughs> I think I think the best thing uh for like a thrash band though is this boots. That's some nice jets. Get a good view of that one. I would say this is going to be my last plane. Uh, maybe not. We've got planes everywhere. The race must be over. Everybody's flying. I guess they'll fly back tomorrow. All right, guys, I think that's the last plane I'm going to get tonight. planes apparently the race the race is over and everybody's flying out so all right i'm headed back to the truck and uh, get this phone charged and then work on setting up camp i think camp's gonna be really easy to set up tonight because i think all i'm doing is laying out a sleeping bag I'm grabbing a a uh, top quilt air up my pillow I believe that's it so let's see here my phone's almost dead but we'll show you this right here if you're not a subscriber make sure you subscribe to Hammond Mountain I appreciate all the views all the subscribers all the likes all the shares once again here's the 360 of where i am we're getting ready to camp okay y'all it's that time of the night 
um, I got camp set up in the bed of my truck. You can see here's my bed cover. There's my air mattress. I thought I heard somebody outside. Got my pillow. So I'm all set. Uh, I am still at the airport trying to be quiet because there is a few people in the parking lot that I've heard. I don't know if they're still out. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to shut off these lights and then I'm going to see if I can open the back really slow and show you where I am. I am still at the airport. So bear with me just a second. We got to go dark. Alright, here we go. If I can get this thing open. Bear with me. I'm trying to do it quiet so I don't surprise anybody. It is light outside. Well, my light, there is lights outside. So I'll show you right here. All right. I am still at the airport. I am in my truck. And there's the terminal. If nothing happens, see when my alarm goes off. If something does happen, I'll bring you back. Good morning. Chill. I must have slept good. My alarm went off six o'clock and uh, when my alarm went off, all I could hear was a uh, legged trail across the parking lot. So apparently I slept pretty good. They just fired up the first, first jet. So things are starting to move and um, uh, things are starting to move. So, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Or this place is gonna be covered up with people. I've already heard quite a few cars in the last couple minutes. So, it's now, oh, it's 6.08, I gotta go. Okay, oh, there's a car. guys I got to get out of here anyway I don't know where that car went all right I got to go for it while I can all right let's get out of here I think we're in the clear.
just in time, y'all. Now I'm just getting stuff out of the back of my truck. All right. That was close. I'm still not awake yet. Oh yeah, we've got, see, I was almost caught. And of course, everybody comes through here. And if they looked as they rode by, they saw that. Oh well. Oh. Grab a couple things out of here. And we're gonna head down the road. Alright, thank you for coming along on this adventure with uh I guess we could call it the shenanigans of Hammock Mountain. Not really. Uh but my name is Daniel, once again, and you have been watching Hammock Mountain. And I want to th I want to say thank you for coming along and uh, supporting uh, this channel by watching, liking, subscribing, and sharing. Everything helps the algorithm, and it don't cost you a dime. Tell your friends about us, and uh, then... Uh, Go online and watch some of the Stealth Camping Alliance videos. This is uh, a monthly challenge. We do challenges every month. And uh, it's a fun time. It gets us outside. And I enjoy it. So uh, check us out. You'll be glad you did. But with that... I am going to head out, go find me some coffee, some breakfast, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.